What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back, joined with AOL Iron Maiden, game number four. Excited to be here, excited to be here. Dude, this is, this is it. UCA is either going to pull up a small upset, or we're going to go into game five. This is a big game. This is a very big game. This is on a fairly unexplored map, fairly unexplored, hmm. um, strategically speaking. So um, I'm very interested to see what these guys are going to pull off. I'm looking at the gods, Boyt, and they're pretty aggressive gods, um, especially on the UCA side. So uh, I'm expecting a banger here, man. I'm expecting a lot of action. Yeah, me too. I mean, Secluded Expanse is the map. This is effectively, you can think about this map as Oasis but without the oasis <laughs> <laughs> there's a decent amount of hunt isn't there i mostly i'm more familiar with this map in 1v1s and i know if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure in the center of the map there there can be rhinos and giraffes and whatnot but i'm i'm more unfamiliar with the yeah with the team game spawn is there a, i mean there's some hunt patches but it's it's definitely it's no marsh ha huh. yeah of course it's no marsh yeah it's uh I think the max amount of hunt spawn is what would be the equivalent of five zebra, five giraffe. Uh, that's mm -hmm. the max amount of hunt spawn for per player. And the minimum hunt spawn, I believe, is your 1,000 food spawn. Um, but this one actually feels like it's a decent amount to start with, which, in my opinion, I think that the, the, slightly, like the slightly more hunt to start in your main base that normally produces the better games um, from my experience. What do you think about that? This is like, we're gonna just go off track just a little bit here. Maps starting with say 600 food, maps starting with 200 food in your main base, maps starting with zero food in your main base. Any opinions on that? Just for my own edification. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I have a very biased opinion on that because you know, since I'm mainly a Norse player, I want as much hunt as I can get, baby. Yeah. So I'm going to say the more hunt, the merrier. <laughs> and that's about as simple as, that's about as simple as my opinion is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. More hunt is good. Great. <laughs> All right. God, God matchups here. We've got Thor, Poseidon, Loki. Obviously super aggressive. Very similar to the last game. Uh, lots of goats can do similar strategies. And the gold star is not going to be possible here because it's back gold mines. Count's gone with set here. He's moved away from his Norse in this one. The set is a, a difficult god to pilot, to say the very least, in team games. But it's normally difficult because his power is lower than Ra's. But there's no Ra in this game because it was banned out. Which kind of makes set the next, the next strongest Egyptian, which should translate to having some success if you can hit the power spikes and and, um, and and stay in the game. You don't automatically lose that late game here uh, because there's no enemy rise, what I'm trying to say. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hold your horses there, Buster. Okay. Is, well, okay, so for a couple of questions for you. First, what was the second god that was banned? So Ra was banned. What was the other god banned? I believe it was Zeus, but I'm not going to lie. Okay. I didn't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to assume it was Zeus. It was Zeus Ra in the previous game, if I'm not mistaken, or game number two, I can't remember. Um, but that, of course, those two gods have been common, been common bands, so I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, so, okay, so fine. Um, Count doesn't have Ra. Count actually said only mere months ago that he considers himself an Isis main. He has been mm. playing a lot of Thor. That Thor is his god choice um, to with which he came to prominence. Um, he kind of considered himself a, an Isis player. So anyway, so having having said all of that, in a team game, you consider Set to be um, the next strongest Egyptian compared to Isis. Ah, uh, it's it, it's close. The problem the problem is that Isis is so map reliant uh, that yes. you just go. I mean. Oh, shifting sands. Where? Oh, he stole the goats. Did he steal the he goats? He stole the goats. <gasps> That's so bad for mechanics. He does have them kind of spread. I don't know how many 
exactly got, but I don't know. Did he give him over to someone else or did he take him for himself? He, I think he may have gave him to grass. That's I don't know, dude. He's got a lot of goats around his mane. That's <laughs> that's seven, that's 17. It's a lot. Come on. <laughs> I think, I anyway, think that yeah, might be I game mean, winning. That, that's so bad for mechanics. I don't know what he can do. If he doesn't have food whoa, as, as, whoa, as, Loki, as Loki, if you don't have food, <laughs> my God. <laughs> if you don't have food. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. We're at game four, match point. Five minutes into the game. It's not resigned. You, don't you dare say that's not, game it's not four. Resi or, it's, not, it's not resigned worthy, but it's like such a big play. I can't, under can't understate <laughs> how big stealing goats away from the Loki player on this map is. I agree. I agree. I agree. Of course, it's it's good that he does have he does have some you know having that second hunt patch, uh, the gazelles, the gazelles you looked at a second ago. That's that's a small consolation, you know. And but still, nice, that's nice berries right nearby as well. So it's not it's not all bad. Yeah. Yeah, you did mention slinging a second ago. That's true. You know, yeah, you never know. It's true. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. That villager put on his Jordans and just jumped a mile in that tower. Are you kidding me? Wow. Did, did, okay. Didn't you know in ancient Greece, there was a teleportation? Like, uh, this is something that's <laughs> just known. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. That was, you know, my villagers, instead of wearing, you know, Jordans as sneakers, my, my villagers wear, I'm not sure what they wear, but you know, skate shoes or something. They, they're not, they're not apt at, you know, jumping. That was just ridiculous. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, the game has now started to take form and <laughs> UCA a one town center. JSS are two town centers. Now you don't, it's not, it's not two to one town centers like in 1v1. It's six to three. So it's actually a really, really big difference in overall team game, kind of how everything will shape out here. So you have to get a lot of damage done here if you're UCA. Yeah. I mean that's that's kind of the trick in, in the Titans is that if if you if you leave the the boomers alone, you know, it's just it's just gonna get you. It's not as often that the one town center plays like previous games actually work. So, yeah, the two TC plays. I'm not surprised to see it in a high level game, but it's really up to uh, it's really up to UCA to do damage, which is gonna be hard, especially with the Loki player down on goats. Exactly what you what you talked about. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be real hard. Yeah. Well, they they are getting some damage done. Nullis has lost a farm to a forest fire. Don't say that very often. Um, but I think Nullis is kind of safe here. They've also got a ceasefire if they want to use it, but you kind of want to save it for um, you kind of want to save it for flaming weapons here. The other thing here that's going to happen is Count's not getting touched. He's already up through Netflix. He's two town centers. He doesn't have shifting sand, so he can't really do a siege tower timing attack here. But he's going to be able to either rush mythic age or start joining in in a big way very very shortly what is the play for count here i mean if you look at the town center spawns the t um over over yeah he's got the t back town center um i would argue that count has a good forward town center against the map over there mm. but mechanics mechanics is forward town center I mean, what's the play here for Count? Does he just, I mean, he's set. Do you spam Chariot Archers? Like, what, what do you do? Do you try and go for an aggressive push? Do you go, what do you do here? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think straight to the Mythic Age right now. This, these raids are, are not getting the damage here. Mythic Age, Tornado, <laughs> and wow. you're all good. That's a great restoration, actually. <laughs> Speaking of damage, dude, uh, forcing him to use restoration on villagers dude i'm gonna call that damage man that That's is that it is it, it is damage for sure i, I would never ex i i don't think i would ever think to use restoration there that's that's an interesting interesting one you obviously I'm like keeping the villages to do it. yeah keeping the villages alive is very important <laughs> so, nullis knows that man. one thing that i think the jss has missed here in a way and it's very very small but they've got their watchtowers up. But they, they, none of them have got crenellations yet. 
which it's a really, really cheap upgrade. It's like 300 resources and it completely shuts down Raiding Cavalry, completely shuts down Yudokon, oh, yeah. and, and it helps a ton against those Hursur raids. Definitely would have been worth it to be thinking about grabbing it. But now Kalmon Count is getting targeted down here. Maybe an an Ancestors wouldn't be a bad idea to just throw down, but they are gonna be Hursur rearing their ugly head very shortly. <laughs> hey, that's rude. <laughs> Well, they, I mean, they're, they're, I they're minions. They're ugly. Like, what, what am I supposed to say? They're like, they're, they're, I'm dead. <laughs> they're cute. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> but no, no, no. Here's the trick, man. Here, or here's kind of the, 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 the problem here for Count or for Egyptian players. In a situation like this, he builds his Migdol forward on this town center, which I think is a little bit of a sketchy play mm. because a double exactly like, you know, I mean, how many players? One, two, three, four. We see, four, what, four different players here? That's This is exactly what can happen, especially in a high-level team game. Boom. You get doubled. Bye-bye Migdol. Bye-bye military production. And then what? You know, you're you're that much further behind. Sure, set set Migdals are cheaper. He can pop it up. He got his town center up. Bravo to count. Um, but still, that that looked like it could have been a lot worse than it actually was, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I think I I was with you. I was like, man, this is gonna hurt count so much. But Grass came yeah. over, and for whatever reason, those chariot archers they just they piled damage on, and they didn't die. Yeah. And you say just lost a lot of units. Yeah. Yeah. But you say now they're up on two towns and it's each. They're, I mean, villager difference. If we jump into the post game quickly, I'm going to take us away from the action just to get this check because we don't have the uh, the tools. 183 to wow. 136. A huge difference. There's no Atlanteans either. So it's a big, big difference. Well, okay, so there's a Ville advantage for one team, but the other team, um, since they stayed on one town centers for longer, they have a small initiative on land. Um, and I already mentioned this in a previous game, that the, I think that the DoD won their series against um, against TVL because of map control. So there is something, it's one thing, okay, fine, Age of Mythology is an economy game. Nice little raid here by Count Pod Count, by the way, with his um, heavy chariots, by the way, those yeah. are heavy chariots. Anyway, um, but there is definitely something to be said about map control. And, you know, UCA, they are behind in score lead. Nice little skirmish here for Grass and Groom. Um, but map control can make a big difference here. Especially with forward town centers. Yeah, exactly. I mean, map, con map control is, is, is the way to end the game. You get all the control, get all the stuff, and you, and you win. Like, we all know that town centers are win conditions, <laughs> right? But You get all the stuff and you win. It's that right, simple, folks. Right. All right. Build your empire. <laughs> <laughs> but grass just did an insane time in there it was having a really really equal fight with mattress but hit he hit the um the aphrodite timing got the curse and he completely cleaned matrius as um hippoclons up there camel can is losing a lot of these chariot archers but getting some good distraction with it while taking this forward town center this is big counts four towns and he's in his stride he's got wall set up he started a trade route Count's looking really, really strong. Indeed, boy. But exactly like what we saw with the Migdal, uh, a two v one that can quickly change the, you know, change the situation. So, yeah, I like that he's dropping a Migdal there. Very nice. He needs to, you know, he needs to solidify that position. Uh, Mechanics does have a flame of weapons and battle war potential here uh, to try and push back on that forward position. Sure. Um, but it's this is a good speaking of map control. This is a great position for count over on that side. Yeah. Um, let's see if he can hang on onto it. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, I kill you die. He's got the full control on to Nullis though, and I mean, you're always looking at mm. at Norse versus Hades going. You know the Norse players on a timer. When the Hades starts cooking, it's it's over for the Norse player. But. I can he's got all this position here and he can put some real good pressure onto Nullis and potentially take him out of this game very, very quickly. They can hit some mythic age timings and, and, and slow him down. See if he's going to be able to do it. Has he got those upgrades in? He's got the uh, irrigation. Did That's go, good. Did he go for... Oh, he did go for Brock. Okay, so no no winter harvest available. But looks like a Ragnarok is probably the best option. 
Well, I actually think that making portable rams um, over back on I Kill You Die, first of all, I'm a little bit surprised he's, he's uh, playing Norse, so bravo to him. But also, I love the forward position, everything that you just said. I don't like the portable rams, however, because playing against Hades, you're not going to ram down his base nope. anytime soon. Maybe with flaming weapons, okay, sure, there's some potential, but you need a big army to accomplish that. So I don't like the ram play there. Yeah, port portable rams are like, they're kind of like a late game unit. Like, you use them with, with Ragnarok, or you use them as a side attack. Very rarely, um, in the even though they're a Heroic Age unit, very rarely do they work in the Heroic Age. Yeah. yeah. Maybe with some, like, Walking Woods shenanigans or something to help out, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's very unique instances where you can actually make it work, but in general, nah. And Here's the problem, right? Mechanics matching up against the set here. Set's going to get Axemen. You can't get that value out of the Hursa once Axemen are in because they just do too much damage. Even if you've got flaming weapons, like the Axemen just remove Hursa from, from the fight before they get any real solid damage done. Is there, is there a Horus in? No. He's just running the Scorpion Man 3 to get scouting information? I don't know. Hell's on the way, though. What do you think about that and not tier in a team game? Um, I don't think it's going to matter all that much. I think that the bigger issue is the town center rather than rather than a uh, Nidhogg. Yeah. I mean, for crying out loud, Crown, sorry, Count has four town centers. Does he have fortified TCs? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, that's fine. But like you mentioned minutes ago, um, he already has his town center gun, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's fully boomed. Count's going to cause a big problem. I've been talking a lot about, or mentioning a lot, uh, the the map control situation. It favored UCA while they were on one town center. Look at the minimap. Mm. Look at how different the minimap situation is now. And yeah. actually, is Grass going to jump onto a fourth town center in the middle? Uh, it's looking like, well, no, Mattress is going to get that just barely. Just barely. As the units are all converging. There's also Colossus. There's a big, big timing here for Grass to get out. Healy up all that. Yes, there's going to be... Uh, Prodromus here, which are really good against those Siege, but you still go for it, and you maybe make a transition into Hoplites here. Hoplite Heliopolite is going to be really, really tough for Matrius to stop at this moment. Personally, I would prefer him to make um, Helipoli, but, you know, that's just my... You can, make, you can make those as well. Those are options. Both, both are good. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, no, no. But back on that side, dude. Back on that side, in the middle. Um, champion, champion, what's it, what's it called? Champion Padromos compared to... Are they medium? I think uh, Mattress says medium yeah. Padromos there. I, I think this is a slight hmm. mistake from Grass. It does, it's not going to matter, but it's a slight mistake because you want to move away from these units. Eventually, yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. The Meteor's coming out. Okay. Meteor isn't enough to kill a town center on <laughs> on patch 6.0. But you get three charges of it now. So oh, my God. I was wondering. I was like, hang on a second. Did the ceasefire stop the Meteors from, you know, like their... You know, astral tra trajection there. Like, what just happened? That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a weird god power. I'm still not 100% sold on it. But what is interesting is holding a charge and holding vision, which obviously Count doesn't have. But you can go vision, meteor to kill off a Titan Gate. 100% efficiency. 100% effectiveness. You're not going to... No Titan Gate can come down against. It's really, really good. As, as that is a, as an option. As long as you're quick Very enough, though. Oh, Nullis with the Underworld. And Nullis has got his town center up here as well. JS is in such a good position right now. If you want a game five, folks, you know, go grab a brewski because it's looking good for JSS. <laughs> Ooh, I, I think I like that, man. Yeah, if you can target a meteor like that. I like it. Yeah, Me meteor. You can you can use it on villages, but the the it it has a very very low HP, like cap like damage cap on villages. You can kill like two villages with it, but they can all get they can all get sent flying, which is fine. <laughs> it's good visuals. We like that. Good visuals. 
Yeah, me Mechanics is in such a tough position, and what what's IQU die doing at the moment is the big question. He's not pressuring anywhere. Um, Grass is still pushing Matrius back. Mechanics has lost his back tower and center. He's going to be... I mean, Counts lost all of those siege towers, which isn't great, but he's going to be able to get those back out really quickly and continue to push forward. The position matters, dude. The position matters more. Like, Count has been booming this whole time. What are we at? 20 minutes or so? Yeah. Bro, he doesn't care about losing a couple of siege units. No way. Um, he's, he's chilling on 40 Cs, baby. No yeah. problemo. And there's, and there's more coming, and he's getting those Axemen. He's got he's got the priests for this for the fire giants. Everything that is good for for Loki seems to be getting countered here by by a count. And Nullus here, he's got Perseus as well. He kills off that fire giant with a one shot and I can he just can't push the Hades. Hades is in Hades is unpushable. You have to find the win elsewhere at the moment. Or find the advantage, the edge. I don't want to be a pessimist, a pessimist here. Um, I do not see a way back in this game for Whoop. UCA, unfortunately. I oh. mean, if there's ever a way back in the game, it's <laughs> Ragnarok as everyone taps out. <laughs> GG. <laughs> All right. That was a, an underwhelming Ragnarok, if I say, you know, do say myself. <laughs> well, that was, I mean, that was a solid, that was a solid game plan here. Like we said earlier in the game, if... One team goes two town center, two town center, two town center, and the other team goes one town center, one town center, one town center. You have to get solid damage done. And with mechanics losing all of those hurtables, he was just so, he was, he was slow down so much that I think what you say I wanted here was like a big 3v1 on like grass, like force the sentinels over on Nullis and then move into grass's base and just camp set up tent on that town center but just didn't work out for him mm. indeed um i think that i think that part of the we never saw mass battle boards here yeah. and sure a set has um has neftis priests sure um but you know we never saw the mass battle boards and so it seems like mechanics couldn't quite you know he did do some nice damage he got some nice raids and you know earlier in the game but not enough damage like you know like we were both mentioning yeah. and we never saw the big battle board push that's kind of what i was expecting back when he took that fourth town center which was mechanics forward town center i kind of expected a flaming weapons push on that some battle a two three battle boards etc a double etc we never saw that though did he even use flaming weapons actually no he's just, he's still holding it like there was no opportunity to like you, you just can't like if you see it time and time again with Norse is like they, they play they, they they click flaming weapons because they have to you they want to use it and then they your opponent knows you've got flaming weapons so they're only going to be taking really good fights for him and then you have to take the fight because you click flaming weapons you lose all your units and you go oh damn and and, and, and mechanics <laughs> knows that he's looking for that good fight and it just wasn't there mm. indeed 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 well, we got ourselves a game five there, uh, buddy. Couldn't be happier. Very nice. Let's, let's get it going. Oh, AOL, my, I, my, I can't speak. AOL Iron Maiden. He's got a Twitch channel. He's got a YouTube channel. Check it out. <laughs> uh, I'm having some fun tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me. Is it actually, this is not night anymore. Is it officially morning in Australia? It's, <laughs> it's 5.20 a.m. People are starting to wake up. <laughs> Good uh, top of the morning to you. <laughs> right, let's get the next game going. <laughs>